Hi everyone, this is Wendy. So I'm going to show you just my quick and easy way to colour some of the flourishes um, that I want to use in some other projects. And all I'm going to use is some of the alcohol ink. Now these flourishes, um, the Aussie themed ones, they're just absolutely gorgeous. We've got Australia, a kangaroo, koala, echidna, I'd say wattle and eucalyptus gum nut and then that lovely little emu and then a cocky as well. Anyway, and I'm also going to be using some alcohol ink. Now you can buy alcohol ink through Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. So I've got, I think I've brought um, six from there and I'm going to use the lettuce um, and the butterscotch but I'm also going to use some of the other inks that I've got here too um, these ones are actually given to me so these are from my own supply okay so look it's just so easy and I wear gloves because I do tend to get the ink all over me now I'm not really going to be that concerned about the colouring I just want to get a couple of colours on each of the little flourish animal shapes or Australia some of the flourishes the shapes so this one here Australia I'm going to use this is a sunburnt yellow so all I'm going to do is I'll just move those out of the road a bit so I've got a bit more light I uh, might need something to hold my flourish because my fingers are a bit too big sometimes so I'll just grab my pokey tool um, and just hold that down there I'm just going to just do that put a drop on the flourish and just let the, the grain take the colour along so that's how simple it is just to do the colouring so I've got that I'll do one side now with these ones I have noticed that sometimes they do the colour does spread to the back but that doesn't worry me at, at the slightest so I've got that one and I've got a, a red pepper here uh, this is from Tim Holtz as well and I have to be careful because um, the drops do come out pretty fast might just pick that up um, and just then I can just tilt it to get the drop out you see how the the ink just goes with the grain of the flourish that looks so cool and it like it just more or less soaks in which is why you can get some colour on the other side so I'll just turn that around and put another drop there and you can just do it as much or as little as you like so I think I might want a little bit more there we go. I really love this flourish of Australia, how it's got Tasmania joined down there. Even though Tasmania is not joined, it's still part of Australia. But this is so cool on that one there. So then I'd let this dry and then do, just come back and do the other side. But because I'm doing the video, I'm just going to keep going. And I'll put the yellow on first the not yellow it's what is it oh yeah sun, sunshine yellow just let that move around a bit okay and then just come back with a little bit more of this one red pepper and just move it around a bit I love the way the grain just takes it like you could just put a little bit just there 
and the grain just it just runs down with the grain on the flourish okay so I've got that one done then I'll just let this dry and when it's completely dry um, with these ones here uh, I'm going to drill a hole in them because I'm going to use them um, put a bulb pin through them and use the dangling off my um, dangling off the side of my journals as an embellishment something a little bit different. I've got um, aqua here and I'm going to use that on my koala. So you can, when you look at them, you can actually see the grain, the way the grain runs. So I'm just going to put a dab on that part and it runs down and dab down there and let that run down that little branch stem okay so got that one and uh, maybe a the butterscotch this is really more like experimenting for me so I'm going to put a little dab there and let that run down to the blue. That looks so cool. Just and you really don't have to use a lot of this ink because it really does spread. I like the way those two colours have mixed there. So, oh, my hand's starting to shake now. <laughs> oh. That looks so cool. I really like that. So, I just want the tiniest little drop there and there. I might come back in with a little bit more blue with that one. Look at this ink. I don't think it's supposed to do that, but it does it. Um, and I haven't got a rag in here to wipe that off the bottle, so I have to get one. Okay, so I'm just going to come in with a little bit. And you can actually like wait until it dries, because it, I've noticed it does dry a little bit lighter. Um, and then when it does dry, you can actually come in and put a little bit more colour on there if you want to. But look at that, that looks so cool. Oh, I've missed a little branch part just here. Right. So I'm going to let that one dry before I... Oh, I'll just show you. I may as well do the back now. Um, you see with some of them, the ink does come through. So let's... We'll finish him off here and just let it dry. I love the way that the ink just runs with the grain. Looks so cool. So I've got that there. Um, you can it, you can use acrylic paint um, to colour your flourishes. So that looks so cool. I really like that. So I'm going to put some more blue on here. Just a little dab and maybe just a little bit more of the brown just on the tips there. And on his ear. Like you really do not you need to use a lot of this ink. It's just like get a little bit of ink in the in your nozzle there and just tap it to tap it to the 
the flourish. Oh, okay, we'll bring that down. Okay, and look at that. That looks so cool. Right, I'll put him down to dry. Now, let's do... Let's do the echidna. Now the echidna, the grain on the echidna actually goes sideways. Um, goes horizontal, not vertical like the other two. So I'm not sure if I'm getting the right lids back on these either. <laughs> but I really do, I love this aqua on them. Um, I'll bring them down so you can see them a bit more. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we've got the echidna and I'll put oh, that one come out a bit funny. And I'll do this one here, which is the sunshine yellow. Just run that down and let the ink just run with the grain. Whoa. Okay, just going to put another bit of the blue there make it a bit darker. Okay, so there's our little echidna and I will do the other side. Um, see the colour has come through that side there. So I'll just give it a bit more. And some of the yellow. Okay, and there's the little echidna coloured both sides. That looks so cool. I love being able to see that grain too. Okay, so we'll put that there. So I think you've got the idea of it. Now maybe just to do the cocky, I'll just do him in the plain yellow and see what it's like without making him... Um, Two tone, but I really love the two tones that I'm doing. Right, there's a bit too much. Okay, so there's that side of him, and see, like I did put way too much on that side, and you can see how it's come over to this side here. So I really don't need to use that much on this side just to fill up a couple of the little patches and I've just put another heap on there <laughs> that that ink comes out very fast okay all right so that's the little copy done um, I was going to stop there, but I think I'll just do these ones too, so you can just see me doing them. So this one, I shall use the the butterscotch on the kangaroo. Now, the grain on the kangaroo goes um, a different, different way, so it's going to... Okay, so we've got that one, and I might come in with the the yellow. Which is just a little bit lighter than that brown, but that looks cool. Oh, 
Up. And a little bit on his paw. Oh, that one looks cool. Looks like a two-toned coloured. <laughs> okay, I like him. So I'll do a bit on this side. And his feet. Oh, and a bit patchy there. Okay, there's the kangaroo done. And the emu might go. What's this one? This is terracotta. So I'll try this on the emu. And the emu's grain is up and down. Well, that looks good. And what colour will I put with the emu? Um, let's try the lettuce. The green. We'll see. Okay. So. Wow, that's really dark green, isn't it? Maybe not the dark green. We'll put this one back on. Um, this one is the citrus, so it's just a shade lighter than that. Oh. Get some on his feet. Okay, that looks cool too. Alright, how much is on this side? Quite a bit. And this. Oh, that terracotta just that comes out so fast. Maybe I should have used like opened them up and just used a little pipette or something. But anyway, that's using them straight from the bottle. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's the first step. I'm not sure if I'm putting the right lids back on these, but it doesn't really matter as long as they've got a lid on them. Um, that's the first step for my little flourishes. And when these are dried, I shall be on to show you the next step. My little flourishes are just about dry, and I just thought I would come on. Um, normally I'd drill the hole beforehand, uh, but I thought... I, don't, I was just so excited about getting some colour on these little <laughs> on these little cherubs. So, um, and I can't find my my flat block after tidying up my room the other day. So I've just got a a um, just a little block here that I'm just going to use so I don't drill into my table. And I'm using my new drill. I haven't used this. I got this for Mother's Day. <laughs> So all I'm going to do is just show you how easy it is. I'm going to hold the flourish and just put my, that's about where I want that one. Um, I don't think you're going to see this very well, but I'll just do it quickly. So my drill bit, um, my drill actually stands up. It's so cool. So I just drill a little hole in it. Now I'm only making these ones really little because what I want to use them for, I want to thread um, the, the bulb pin through it so it will just hang off the bulb pin. Um, but if you wanted to like make key rings out of them, you would have to use just a little bit um, bigger size drill for that. So with the koala, I'm thinking, I want it kind of hanging there, so I'm going to do it just more or less up near his ear. 
and with this you don't put any pressure on it you just let you just let the drill do its work because you don't want to split the flourish okay so that's I'm not sure if you're going to see the little hole there oh there it is there see okay so I'll do the other ones um, the cocky actually has a hole in his eye so I'm going to I'm not going to worry about putting a hole in the cocky but I will put one in the kangaroo just on his back this is so cool mm -hmm. I love my new drill well it's not really new I've had it for a few months and now just one in the emus back and the drill's got what? what have I done here there we go got stuck <laughs> Um, the drill's got a light in it too, so the light shines down to give you a bit more light. Okay, so that's all. I just come on to show you putting the hole in it. Okay, so that's it guys. So I'm going to use them just to put the little bulb pin through. So they can hang off my journals. Now, I'll just have a little bit of a tidy up and I'll come back to show you how I put the dimensional magic on. I'm going to put some of this dimensional magic over them just to mainly protect them but it also makes them come up real nice and shiny like um, like the leaves I done on here. I done the, these little eucalyptus leaves exactly the same. Okay so I shall be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back on to put some Mod Podge on them, uh, Dimensional Magic. So, Auntie Vera sells this in her store too, So, and this is oh, so cheap if you buy it off Auntie Vera. It's cheaper than buying it at Spotlight, I'll tell you now. So what I do with mine, I just spray, um, squirt, not spray, I just squirt a little bit of dimensional magic from the original tube into one of these little plastic bottles I have and I'll just make sure that that's that's opened because I did use it the other day and sometimes you get a little bit stuck in that hole but that's looking okay I think I just grab my awl and stick it down and just clean out the inside if I need to okay so <coughs> all I do is just you're gonna see what I'm doing yep yeah. um, around the edges there's really no coloring but I still like to put a very thin line just around the edge because it just seals it and just protects it a little bit more from the elements so just make sure I'm staying in frame Wendy stay in frame <laughs> um, and you might see a little bit of glitter come out of this um, out of this little bottle because I kind of like mix my Mod Podges together which is okay I don't mind doing that if it has a little bit of glitter on it that's okay by me puts a little sparkle in it okay so I just go all around the edge and just might be a bit hard to get into the um, these little parts here but that's okay just do the best you can and then I'll just put that down there and grabbing my awl again 
I'm just going to hold that and just put a nice little coat right to the edge it's just it's amazing the difference um, the color the color is when you put a little bit of this dimensional magic on it really makes it so nice and shiny and just brings the color up a little bit more so just I normally go in like little circles but I'm really just pushing it around towards the edges making sure there's no bubbles in there and you've noticed I've gone over the hole which is okay by me so I'm just going to stick my awl in there and just give it a bit of a twist around because you can blow it out too but I'm not going to pick it up because I've just done the edges so I'll do the koala and then I'll do the other ones offline because it's going to be hard just to get into the edges down here so there's some that you actually might miss like this one here the tree branch going around the outside but I can see that there's a little bit getting on there there's a little bit built up in between those two little branches there but that's okay I'll just work that around with my my awl or you can use a toothpick or anything like that I just I use the awl because it's just here it's just there right near me just as long as you just get a little bit around the outsides of it just to seal it all in is okay so I don't think I'm going to get in there so I'm just going to get my all because I have got like a build up just in those branches and I'm just going to just press it and move it around a bit might be able to put some just in there and just down here I think that's about okay down in that little one there too okay and then just put that down put some of that off there and just hold that and just go right to the edge see I went round that hole that time drag it round the best you can just so that it gets a nice covering on it so I don't really have to do much up there and down to that side there okay so you can see I've got another not sure if you can see that up there but I've got just another little build up in between that branch there so I'm just going to pull it out the best I can and down here because like you can let it dry like that and just grab like your your little blade tool you can like grab one of these and actually like cut it back a bit but I prefer to do it before it actually dries that way so I'll just lift him up not flip him like I normally do so just lift him up and move him out of the road a bit so I can just have a look 
Okay, so there's still just a little bit just there. Okay. Alright, so that's it. So I'll get these other ones done and then I'll just be back on to show you what the what they look like when they're finished. Okay. Okay guys, uh, they're finished. So I just thought I would pop on and show you what they're like. So there is the little emu. And I have done coloured them and mod podged both sides. Little kangaroo. The map of Australia. And the little cocky where I just put the bulb pin through his eye because he already had a hole there. And the echidna. They just look so cute. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. And I think my favourite one would have to be the koala on the tree branch. Okay, so, oh, and I also done another one without putting a hole in it. Just another little echidna. And I done it on both sides, but like if you know what side you're going to have it on a project, if you want them on a project, you don't have to mod podge the whole lot of it. You just like put it on the one side just to protect it a bit more. Okay, so that's it. And you'll be able to see how I use these or where I'm going to use these cute little flourish embellishments. Um... Australian themed ones you'll be able to see in another upcoming video during this month. So it'll be worthwhile if you went over checked out Auntie Vera's store because she has these gorgeous Australian ones for any of my Aussie friends out there but she also has another like she has a huge range of different uh, chipboard flourishes and you'll be able to like pick and choose which ones which set you want okay so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed I had so much fun and even more so had so much pl fun playing with the inks and Aunty Vera also does sell the inks in her store as well as the dimensional magic okay alright you all have a great day and I shall catch you later bye bye